This is Cape Ann, four communities built on 400 years of Yankee ingenuity. We fish and farm, we create and craft, we trade and toil, we build and bootstrap. Some are born and raised here, like me. Some visit and never leave. But we all have one thing in common. We love where we live. I'm Corey Cooperman. I know half the people here, and I'm related to the other half. Follow me around Gloucester, Rockport, Essex, and Manchester by the Sea as we meet the people and share their stories. This is The Local Life. Common Crow Natural Market features organic food from local growers and makers, a scratch kitchen and bakery, bulk food and fair trade items. Kate Noonan is the owner, along with her wife Pat Towler. What began as a tiny store in downtown Gloucester bloomed into one of Cape Ann's busiest businesses. Strength, resiliency, and ironclad immunity are traits of real crows, thus the name, because that's what Kate and Pat want for their customers. Now I know how the crow got from there to here, but how did Kate and Pat? Unfortunately, Pat was at the farm, but I found Kate in her familiar place. I'm Kate Noonan, one of the owners of Common Crow. We've been in business since 2000, mm -hmm. having purchased the glass sailboat, which had been in business for 30 years. Right. So what did the <laughs> Common Crow Market have to offer in its early days? So we, we had sort of a health and beauty store with uh -huh. a little bit of food at that time, but a very small footprint. We just got to the point where we, you know, the customers couldn't get through the aisles anymore. Right. Literally. Like you were literally bumping yeah, into your neighbors space, in yeah. Common Crow. <laughs> I grew up in Arlington. Mm -hmm. I was the kid who was fishing, who was up to my knees in the pond, who was spending hours just watching bugs, climbing trees, you know, eating wild apples. That, so, that was me. I got into UMass. I wasn't a, exactly a scholar. I was a good student. Mm -hmm. And what really attracted me was the small department in there called Environmental Interpretation. And so that was basically Park Ranger School. So what is the genesis for the Common Crow Market? I got my master's in counseling psych at Leslie, and I started working as a mental health counselor in town. And I got to develop a wonderful program that was happening at Morris Way, which is our local sober house, which is right next door to the glass sailboat. Right. So now, right. So now, fast forward. So right. in between every client, I was running up for a tea, a coffee, a cookie, and running into Pat. Um, this is Pat Towler. She was the manager at the Glass Sailboat. So this was uh, 1999. Pat calls me and she said, mm, I tried to quit and Max said that I should buy the business. What should I do? So she decided she wanted to and that's how it all started. Why does the crow work so well here, in, in your estimation? Well, I think there's a lot of factors. You know, I think Pat and I are in the store every day. You know, that's a, that's a big part of our success, mm -hmm. uh, both with the teams and with the community, getting to see us. Why Cape Ann? It's because it's where we are. And this is a great place to be. I mean, I think it's always been a little rough and tumble, a little polished, uh, a little progressive, a little traditional. Like, we respect and honor all of that, and so, we get all those people here. What do you want someone to know about Common Crow? If you want to save the planet, buy organic. So it gets right down to the soil, the water, and everything else. It's hard to be a small farmer and go through the process of becoming organic certified. And we don't necessarily require that, but that's really important to us. When it's local apple season, you'll see we'll have a separated table for the local produce because we want to have it in and we want to support those farmers and we want our customers to have that delicious food that's grown, you know, within a 90 mile radius of the store. And, you know, one of our taglines is Common Crow, shop where your farmers shop. I think that's quite an endorsement right there. Do you envision what the crow is going to be like some, you know, one year, five years, ten years from now? I remember one day when we did a visioning meeting, I said I want it to be the best little health food store in the universe. So maybe that's where we're headed. Right. <laughs> <laughs>